Hello everyone, my name's Adam Repulse Vox, and if you go to the Windows Store and open the Windows Store, uh, they have recently, they're adding a bunch of new apps to it. And one of those new apps is actually a game from the Xbox One called Killer Instinct. They released it for free on Windows 10 with in-game purchases, which means you're probably not getting the full game and they're going to want you to buy DLC characters for it. But either way, you're able to install full games like this or like Rise of the Tomb Raider, or Gears of War Ultimate Edition, straight from the Windows 10 store. But there's one caveat. These games are big. I don't know exactly how much uh, Gears of War or Rise of the Tomb Raider takes up, but Killer Instinct, since it's the free one, takes up 30 gigabytes. And if you're like me and you run a solid state drive or just a another smaller hard drive or something as your main C drive, which is where Windows would default install these apps to, I only have 10 gigabytes free. I can't be installing games there. No. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the default install location for these apps, including games. So to do this, click start, go to settings, go to system, go to storage. And then here you have the default locations along with how much space is available on your individual drives. And then you can change where it saves stuff. For example, um, default documents saved in Windows apps, music, pictures, things like that will all by default from certain apps like for pictures and videos that's the camera app actually for pictures that's pictures and videos from the camera app for new videos that's from built-in video recording software like the in-game DVR for recording the Windows games but what you want is new apps and then you can select a different drive for example this is my solid state drive for my games so I chose that one, or if you have a bigger hard drive as your secondary hard drive, you can choose that. I would not choose a USB hard drive that you're going to be removing at any point, because that means all of your apps will stop working and it will kind of freak out. And then when you plug it back in, it won't necessarily, like it, it may default back to the C drive and then won't know that you still have those games on that drive. So just something to keep in mind, but a very quick tip here that I wanted to share. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave me comments in the comment section of other tutorials you'd like to see, and I will see you in the next one.